So, hopefully, come on. Hopefully, the sound works clear. I hope it works. Oh my god, I need my camera. Okay. Talk, talk, say something. Say, say something. That's about trying to. Those are really huge. I can't walk with that. Hey, babes. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Um, I'm holding my camera, you guys, because I cannot seem to find my tripod. Um, a lot of stuff have just been walking up out of here, and I just, I can't find it. So, I'm holding it for this word that I'm about to share with you guys. So, sorry if I'm too close. Um, and I also want you guys to be able to hear me because I was having some technical difficulties yesterday and I had to go to Best Buy to get it checked out and when I got there he like uploaded it and then the voice was really really clear so I'm just praying that you know this word is clear and you know you guys can receive it and you understand what I'm saying because yesterday I was having problems until I got to the store. So I want to thank the people who have you know been reaching out to me through email um checking up with me just to see if i'm okay um i know that i've been away for a while and it's only because you know i myself go through things in life and i've been going through some things and i've been needing the lord to like show up for me and kind of give me some answers i need like some direct <laughs> answers from him so i decided to fast in this time so that is the reason of why I've been absent. So my apologies. Um, pray for me. Can always keep me in you guys' prayers because I needed to. The devil has been trying to work. But God is so good. He is so, so good. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Back it up a little bit. Um, I'm just coming to touch bases with you guys and I just wanted to update you also there is a, a slight word that has you know been on God's heart that he put on mine to release you know way before I decided to fast and I thought you know I was going to wait until afterwards but he's like girl give them what they need to hear so oh and I also want to thank you guys for the people who have you know emailed me um you know seeing if i was okay and things like that i really appreciate that you guys i really appreciate it some of you i didn't know who you were um but i i'm happy and i'm glad to know that you know you guys are looking for the word and looking for god you know to speak to you so thank you for that um i am okay i've just been fasting it and I have I do have a couple of words for you guys so the Lord wants you guys to know um, well before we get into this word before we get into it I want you guys to test the spirit um, take everything that you hear from any prophetic voice any preacher any teacher anybody take it to the Lord and wait for confirmation the Lord wants some of you to know that in this moment um you cannot afford to give up giving up is not an option um so many are wondering how to hear from the lord or you are wondering are you truly hearing from the lord um and in most of my videos i do tell you guys to test the spirit and what i mean by that is to take what you are hearing or have heard to the Lord and ask, is it from him? And then wait for his confirmation. So some of the things I do when I get a word, um, I say, Lord, whoever I heard it from, like such and such said this, um, me for example, like Lord, Jermika said this, and I wanna know like what that word for me, Lord. Please confirm this to me, please show up, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear that, you know, 
it was for me, it's for me, and if I need to, you know, take action or do anything specific that you need me to do, Lord, like, that's what I mean by that. The Lord is a God of confirmation and confirming things. So, for example, say you've taken some things to the Lord in prayer and you need or want specific answers from him. After declaring what it is that you need from the Lord, you will hear by word. After you hear them, is how God will confirm them, you have to believe and receive them. Either from a trusted preacher or prophetic voice will be how the Lord reveals and confirms to you your answers, you guys. So, you know... Some of you are wondering, like, how do I hear from him? How do I test the spirit? Um, God is all about com confirmation. So, take it if you have, you know, you will know when you hear these words because you have already took it to the Lord, and he will confirm them through words. Words, okay? And then once you get those words, you have to actually believe in your heart and receive that it is for you and that the Lord you know, it's speaking to you, and that's your word. In Scripture, let's go to Scripture. In Scripture, it says, For Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their work. And that's in Second Corinthians 11:14. This verse tells us that not only can Satan himself actually do this, but so can other ministers. The Bible also states, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has came in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. 1 John 4, 1-4. The Lord has been revealing this stuff to me, you guys. Like, I cannot really say what it is that, you know, me and the Lord is working on right now but he's showing me the differences of what certain preachers and you know these known preachers are teaching us and to actually read in between the lines of what they're saying and it is nothing but Satan and occult and so much going on in this world right now that you know he's just equipping me and he's trying to like you know, school me to be able to give you guys what's lost, okay? The right doctrine. This next verse specifically tells us, the verse, that, the verse that I just read, tells us not to believe every spirit, but to test it out as to whether or not they are really from God. So, if a spirit has told you something, and I'm saying, I'm using the word spirit because we all are spirits. Um, I'm not talking you know, about our fleshly bodies. We are spirits, you know? So I'm coming from that a kingdom perspective. So if a spirit has told you something and you have a chance to encounter and ask the spirit, here are the two questions you should ask it. Ask the spirit, who is his Lord and Master? If the spirit cannot confess that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Master, then he is not an angel from God. Secondly, I will ask the spirit to confess to will confess to you that Jesus Christ has come to our earth in the flesh. If the spirit cannot make this specific confession, then this spirit is definitely not from God. Okay. So after the Lord, you know, confirms to you your answer um, whatever you came to him in prayer about and he confirms it to you it's all about what you do with it afterwards like you a lot of us are getting words and we're just like you know oh that was a good word and you know we take it and just like lay it down no you have to receive it believe it and you know walk into that thing believe and trust that the lord 
has gave you that word and that it's for you and you have to believe with your heart, you know? Take it, not by chance or coincidence, that you've heard a word from the Lord. No matter what you are going through or what anyone has told you, what the Lord says is true. The Lord also wants many of you to clean up your houses. He says that things have a specific place and that the devil loves to roam in filth. He's even saying to clear it out physically for the people who do not belong there. That many of you are also carrying ministries also. And that now is not your time to give up and you need to step up to the plate. He has given you wisdom and discernment and that now is definitely not the time to, you know, play around with it. He's trying to edify the body and you have a peace that we need. The Lord is also you guys. The Lord is also saying in these times right now to beware of counterfeits. Counterfeit things, people, words, and actions. Like, I'm going to give you guys, <sighs> these last couple of months, like, the enemy has really been trying to steal from me. From what the Lord is trying to give me, he has been trying to steal it through counterfeit things. I'm talking about one thing after another, after another, after another. The devil has been trying to steal. Through counterfeit people, words, things, and actions. So you have to stay guarded. Um, the Lord says that, you know, many of you are also carrying ministries. And you are so, you also are you know, encountering a lot of counterfeit stuff. And the reason why is because he needs you. You cannot afford to give up in this time. And he needs you to step up to the plate so that he can give you what it is that he promised you. So, I hope this was encouraging. I hope it was confirmation for somebody. Um, you know, I pray that, you know, you guys, Pray for me because I've been going through, but I've been standing strong by the grace of God, you know, and I decided to just fast because I need to break loose from this. Whatever these covenants and ties are, I need them bounded down, you know, so keep me in you guys' prayers as well, too. Um, I love you guys, and I hope that you stay blessed, you be blessed, and don't forget to share this video. It's not about the numbers. It's about who gets this, who needs this word, and, you know, who can be delivered from it. So thank you, guys. I love you again, and be blessed. Bye.